those moments of mental clarity are so important and I am trying to harness the ability to hone in on when you have those epiphanies in in life. And as I was getting ready for session today, it just came to me um, when I was thinking about my clients and preparing to um, be a open vessel for them. It definitely came to me in those quiet moments about how we are living in mental hell. Instead of enjoying the process of mental health, we allow our thoughts to put us in this space of mental hell. And just as I was telling my clients today in session, um, you know, I'm not saying that we have to align with candy canes and lollipops, but it damn sure doesn't need to be brim brimstone and fire, right? I cannot stress to you enough that you do not have to do anything. Stop forcing it. Stop forcing things to go the way that you think they ought to go. If you are forcing, it is not for you. Begin to get into the mindset of knowing that you attract, you don't force. Whatever is meant for you is going to come to you naturally. Just like when we think about a river, right? The water does not force itself upstream or downstream. It goes with the flow and the vibration that it is supposed to go. That should be the metaphor for your life. If you feel like you are forcing that relationship, that job, that house, that car, whatever it is in your life that you feel like you um, are just trotting upward, that is not for you. Let it go. You do not need to do anything but show up, right? And so that doesn't mean that um, you lay in a bed and think that everything is going to just come your way. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. You still show up, you still um, get dressed, you still go to work, um, you still do what you need to do, but if you were passed up for that promotion, then that wasn't the space for you. If that partner wants to walk away, allow them to walk away. They are making space for the person that is for you. If you didn't get that car, that is not the situation for you, right? Allow, be grateful, having a, having a grateful heart that whatever is coming your way, that that is what you are attracting. That is meant to be in your life. Whatever is leaving your life, it is making space for the next best thing. And so we get in our own way by thinking that we have to do something, that we have to force something, that we, we have to be in the middle and put our hands in it. We have to control something. And that is why these situations and these barriers and these incidents keep falling in your lap to teach you that you do not have to control anything. And when you begin to put your hands in it, the only person that you are stressing out is yourself and the people around you. I say in session all the time, what has this taught you about yourself? This is about you. This is, a, this is not about any other person, place, or thing. This is about you to teach you something about you. And once you get that lesson, you vibrate to the next highest frequency. Stop going against the grain. Stop forcing it. Stop pressuring it. Stop thinking that you have to do something else. Oh, if I buy this gift. Oh, if I give this money. Oh, if if um, I, I juggle on one foot at this job. If I do all of these different things, then I am going to force things to go my way. We don't force. If you are forcing, it is not for you. We are magnetic, energetic beings. 
and where we align our thoughts that is what we attract into our awareness that is where karma comes from in my opinion right we always um, say you know the person is going to get their karma they are going to get what they have attracted into their life it may seem like they're riding off in the sunset now but where they align their thoughts where they give their energy that is what they project back to them or attract i should say back to them so I just wanted to stop by today just to remind someone, one person, to let it go. Be at peace with it. Affirm what you want to see in your life and believe that it is done. And wait for it to show up. Know that it has shown up. Know that you don't have to do anything else. But know that it's already done. And so if you align with being a business owner, what, what would a business owner be doing right now? What would they be saying? What would they be thinking? You don't have to wait for that blessing to come in your life. You walk into that purpose right now. You feel that emotion right now. You be excited to start your day right now and you watch all the synchronicities open up for you. Affirm what you want to see and believe that it is done and go about your way. You don't have to force, you don't have to worry, you just go about your way knowing that it's done. I am that business owner and this is what they would be doing and that's what I'm doing. I know that I have that house. And this is what a homeowner would be doing, and that's what I'm doing. I know that I got that apartment. And this is what the person who would live in that apartment would be doing, and that is what I'm doing. I know I'm going to be a mother. I know I have that degree. Whatever it is, just walk into it. Don't force it. We are putting ourselves into our own mental hell by thinking that we need to control just release. Release, affirm, believe. That's all I need you to do. And when the, the thoughts try to give you anxiety or depression, take a breath. Breathe through it. Right? In through your nostrils, hold for four, blow it out your mouth. My goal for you, my wish for you is to continue to be magical, be brave, and above all else, be well. Chat soon.